I've been researching Barack Obama for approximately four years. Over the last three years, since I've joined YouTube, I've managed to post well over 300 videos. I've gotten in the habit when I'm on the internet to save articles that I think may of be of future use, photographs. One such photograph is here on your screen. I'd like for you to click on this and watch in full screen mode if you can. I know my videos are not HD, but I think you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. This photograph has always bothered me. This is supposed to be Obama with his grandparents while they were visiting him at Columbia University in New York back in 1982. I believe this is a fake photograph. And I'll show you why in a minute. The other day I came across this photograph. That's right. This is Stanley Dunham and Madeline Dunham sitting in the exact same setting in the exact same postures. They haven't moved a muscle. They're both looking in the same direction and Barack Obama is nowhere to be found. Now notice how the wall to the left of your screen, right near Stanley's elbow, it appears that the wall has been painted black and the paint has chipped off of it. But if you go to the right, you can see how the wall is all rough, like it's been photoshopped. Let me go back to the first picture again. And this again is where I believe that Barack Obama himself was photoshopped into the picture. The reason I say this, and the thing that has always bothered me about this picture, is if you look at Stanley's left arm, his shoulder and his left arm appears to be straight up and down as if he's sitting there with his hand on the seat of the bench and I believe how that 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 is exactly how he was sitting there in the photograph with Madeline he does not have his hand on her shoulder and yet his left shoulder is not moved. Now we look at this photograph and we see, as I say again, both of his grandparents have the exact same positions that they did in the first photograph, but now we have Barack Obama in the middle and what appears to be his grandfather's left hand on his shoulder. Well, what I'd like you to do is imagine that you've got someone sitting next to you that is roughly the same height as you, just as Barack Obama is sitting next to his grandfather there, and try and reach out so that your left hand would be on Barack Obama's left shoulder. And do this without lifting the upper part of your left arm. You can't do it. You could probably do it if you had a small child sitting next to you, but certainly not an average sized individual. You just can't reach out across that far. You're talking about a shoulder width of probably a good 16 to 18 inches, and there's no way that you could do this without lifting 
the upper part of your arm out at it, probably a 30 to 45 degree angle. And if you were, had your arm like that, your left shoulder would not be vertical, straight up and down, as his grandfather's is in this photograph. So I believe that they started with this photograph and photoshopped in Barack Obama. Another thing I'd like you to notice is slightly above his grandfather's right elbow in this photograph you can see a streak in the block of the wall. That is not present in this photograph, but it is in this one. And if you take this photograph and you blow it up, and you can do this yourself on your own computer, find this photograph on the internet, just do a search for Barack Obama and his grandparents under pictures you will find this photograph and you'll see that that streak is there. I'm going to show you a photograph of that area blown up and that streak I believe is a remnant from photoshopping. In the left side of the picture you can see a thin streak there and if you look very closely you'll see that that is flesh colored. I believe that is Barack Obama's face. In other words, I believe that they slid Barack Obama onto the photograph and then copied his image from the middle here, or from the, the left side of the photograph into the middle of the photograph after creating a gap between his grandparents. And then they erased it by filling in the wall again and they accidentally left this remnant of Obama's face. Or you can see a nose and two cheekbones there, flesh colored on the left. Then there's something on the right which looks almost like the color of the wall. And that streak actually continues on so you can actually see a little welt in the right sleeve of his grandfather there, all in a straight line there. Like I say, don't take my word for it. Find the photograph and blow these things up yourself on your own computer and see if you don't agree that this photograph has been photoshopped. Not only has Obama created a phony history of his life, but I believe probably many of the photographs that we've been shown are phony also. Thanks for listening.